Lamar supporters planning a full court press to keep the project alive. They're even considering legal action if necessary. Nine News reporter Tom McKee is live and over the Rhine where the group outlined its plans just a short time ago. Tom. Well, Tanya, several dozen over the Rhine residents and business owners met to lay the groundwork for a town hall meeting on the topic Thursday night, and they hope that will help keep the streetcar project alive. It's going to be at the Mercantile Library Building, 414 Walnut Street, downtown. Now, this group plans to lobby Mayor elect John Cranley, who has said the conversation on keeping the streetcar is over. They also plan to contact newly elected council members to get them to see that the streetcar, in their view, is about jobs and economic development. The goal is to keep the conversation going outside of politics and partisanship to concentrate on what they say is good for the region. Simply put, the streetcar is a component of Cincinnati economic development. And it's a project that grows the whole city, not just an urban core, which, by the way, is an important part of developing this region. Other cities across the country already have rail transit. So it's our opportunity to get in the game. Now, work continues on laying the rails along Elm Street for phase one of the track, even though Cranley has asked that it be immediately halted. Now, there's no yet word yet from John Cranley on this newest round of efforts to try to lobby. We'll try to get that for you on 9 News coming up at 5 and also WCPO.com. Tom McKee, 9 on your side, live in the Over the Rhine. Thank you, Tom.